This video is proudly sponsored by New Type. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewTypesHQ.com and use promo code UTAKABUTTER for 10% off on your next purchase. Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another exciting build from the good folks from Bandai Japan. So why don't we get things started with the 1100 scale master grade, Verka Foz. And without further ado, let's get to it. Welcome back my dudes and dudettes to the most requested and definitely one of the most demanding master grade that I've been asked to build for quite some time. Now, I have built Sentinel Gundam and have dabbled into the world of building Zeta Gundam, but the one Gundam that I've been asked to build the most besides the Mark II is by far the most thick and most ridiculous master grade that I have built in a very long time, and that is the Faz Master Grade Verka. And this is definitely a thick looking Gundam. Everything down to the obscured armor placement, the most massive and definitely most intimidating hyper mega cannon, and its partner in crime, the dual beam rifle. Now, let's take a step back and really admire this boxer because it is very clean, very easy to follow what you can expect from the front and back of this mobile suit, while at the same time giving you a good understanding of cool armor placement and color separation, while on top of that giving you an understanding of what you can expect from hidden compartments for the missile launchers. As for the other side, the box art gives you a clear representation of what you truly can expect from this model kit, everything down to the armor placement and the two unique weapon accessories. But shockingly enough, there is no LED light for the head. The light piping's there, but I guess there was no room to really put that kind of sophisticated lighting unit for something that requires a transforming feature. So what can we expect inside the box? Right off the bat, you are happily greeted with the water slide decals. Now this is no stranger from anyone that has built a Verka kit. This kits are well known for the obscure and insane amount of water slide decals which by the way I'm happily okay with that but for someone that is new to this this can be quite intimidating followed up right behind it is the beautifully well scripted and definitely well designed instruction manual now normally when you build a master grade model kit they usually give you a color guide chart in the very back of the manual to do some custom painting however the Verkai series is much more different with the first page giving you a beautiful spread on what you truly can expect from this unique master grade Everything down to the well-designed hidden missile compartment in the chest, followed by the most unique and definitely the most elongated head design for any kind of Gundam that I have built, followed by the double beam cannon, unique backpack unit, and the ever so popular Hyper Mega Cannon. Now with a Master Grade packed with this much weapon armament, you would expect there would be some form of an action base, correct? Unfortunately, this Master Grade does not come with one, you're going to have to purchase that separate, but what follows that is it comes with an insane amount of unnecessary runners that you won't need for this model kit, unless you're building the predecessor to this model kit, which a lot of people aren't doing that for this kit, they're building it for the Faz, but for this particular kit, it's really unnecessary and it's very underwhelming. As for the following page, it gives you a brief understanding on how the Hyper Mega Cannon is going to work when it's connected to the backpack unit, so there's obviously going to be some issues with weight distribution problems, followed by the last page which I mentioned earlier is a color guide to do some custom painting if you choose to do so, followed by a complete guide to put all those water slide decals if you like it without the armor placement. Now as for the second to last page, this is where it gives you a nice brief history of how this Faz Gundam was originally created, as well as a beautiful illustration that was done back in the 80s, followed by the other Gundam Sentinels that have been designed around that same architecture, so if you're not a fan of the Faz, you can try out the other ones if you like so. As for the runners for this kit, you're going to get the classic yellow and red pieces, but strangely enough, you're not getting the classic blue pieces. In fact, you're happily greeted with a unique purple-like violet blue pieces, followed by a sea blue pieces for other armor pieces, and then a soft-like blue grayish pieces for the main armor mint underneath the heavy armor. But as for the clear pieces, this is where things get very confusing. You get the classic clear pieces for the eyes, followed by the scope for the weapon accessories, but you get these weird transparent landing gear strips for the core fighter which the kit doesn't really encourage you to really build it it's just kind of like an afterthought but these pieces that are actually here is really confusing and definitely unnecessary to have as for the final runners you're gonna get a handful of metallic gray pieces for the main weapon armaments followed by more unnecessary blue pieces for this Gundam as for the last runners behind that you get more gray pieces for the inner frame and that's pretty much it everything else in this box is really unnecessary and underwhelming So normally when I do my kits, I usually tackle the head and torso first in every video I do. This time around, I want to put more emphasis on the weapon accessories because it's usually like an afterthought for me and I don't want that to happen with this build. So I'm going to tackle the weapons first, followed by the armaments and then the small pieces such as the yellow, red and blue pieces. 
dudes and dudettes, as this video is wrapping up, I want to share with you guys my thoughts and impressions about this model kit. Now, I'm pretty neutral when it comes to this particular build, even though it was heavily requested for me to build, and I had a lot of fun building it. But there are just small little things that kind of bugged me, and they weren't there. And the biggest complaint for me was there was no representation of the little figurine pilots. They're, they're there, but they're is no mention of them in the instruction manual if you've come from building the original master grade but this particular kai kit does not give you any color guides no references of them there it's pretty much there for the sake of just being there for the runners and that brings me to the next part that's really annoying about this model kit it, it is packed to the brim with unnecessary runners from a previous master grade that a lot of people are probably never going to build and they're jumping into building this one definitely not necessarily needed to have for this kit it was really annoying and another thing that's definitely gonna be missed and definitely glimpsed over is the core fighter i mean you put all this energy and time painting this little dude and it's kind of wasted because its main purpose is just to interlock the upper body and the lower body together so that way it doesn't wobble loose because there is a transforming gimmick for this particular model kit the instruction mail however does not mention the transforming gimmick but there are some glimpses into that feature that are there but they are more like an afterthought, like your main focus is just to build this Gundam and not worry about it. That's unfortunate. I mean, I think that would have been a nice little feature, a nice little added bonus. But without the actual proper instructions to tell you how to do this for this model kit, you're just left with an unnecessary amount of plastic. And I think that's probably another reason why the pricing for this kit is so high. But it's really, really not necessary for someone to build this kit. Um, as for the water slide decals, they are great. Top notch, absolutely love using them. Had zero problems with this kit um, putting them on. Another area that is definitely really, really cool about this kit is even though there's a lot of tight interconnected pieces, I had very, very little issues when it came to paint scraping or chipping. So I had to give Bendai props on that. I absolutely love that. But the one thing that I absolutely find just fascinating about this Master Grade, it's not its unique design, it's not its weapon armaments, but it is choice when it comes to color design. And what I mean by that is it does have the classic red, yellow, blue Gundam pieces. However, that blue is substituted with a violet, blue, like purple color scheme, followed by having the classic white pieces, you get like this weird, smoky, blue, gray armaments that not only work well with the white pieces, but everything just harmonizes with one another. Nothing's overpowering, nothing doesn't really stand out. This mobile suit is all about stealth, and it definitely shows with this unique design. I mean, yeah, it's definitely kind of, the stealth element's kind of gone when it has like this really big weapon behind it and its insane maneuverability, but the overall color scheme works, and I absolutely love that attention to detail. Now, I know there's a handful of you out there asking yourself, is this kit worth the purchase? Now, that's where things get kind of difficult. One, it is expensive. Two, um, there's no gimmicks. There is no transforming feature. There is no LED light for the head, although there is a sense of encouragement to put some LED lights in there, which I did for this build, which was a huge, huge plus for it. And then there's the issue of opposability. Now, if you're the kind of dudes and dudettes that just like to build a kit and put it on your shelf and, and keep it in a stag pose, then good job, this kit's for you. But for someone like myself that like to put something on their shelf while at the same time show some kind of action and dynamic poses, this kit is extremely limited. And it probably would have boosted up my recommendation to get it if it came with an action base. But unfortunately, you gotta speak with your wallet. And with your wallet crying out to telling you like, don't do this, it's very expensive. If I were you, I would strongly recommend you look into other Verkaz series. I mean, you get the classic RX Gundam, you get the Ball, followed by the Sazabi, the V-Dash Gundam, Wing Gundam, the, the Thunderbolt Gundam. Those are excellent alternatives for a Kai series. This guy is just bulky and it's gonna take up a lot of unnecessary room. But if you got the money and you're a Gundam collector, by all means, have at it, but for the average consumer that wants to get a lot out of their $100, look at other alternatives for Kai kits. And with that being said, thank you dudes and dudes for watching this video, and I do appreciate you guys sticking around watching this hour and a half video. There was a lot that went into this, and I will see you dudes and dudettes on the next video. Later.